Hey folks, I'm Brian Holland from the World of Darkness team at Paradox Interactive, and I wanted to do a series of videos on running World of Darkness tabletop games, specifically Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition. I often see folks saying that running tabletop games is a really, like, mean feat, and I can assure you that, if nothing else, you have the skills. Um, doing this game, it's not a job, playing this game does not require five years experience as a professional actor or a screenwriting degree. So I want to get that out of the way right away. You have the skills to do this, I assure you. I've been running tabletop games, specifically Vampire, for more than half my life now, and while I can probably unpack that somewhat stressful prospect some other time, what I can assure you is that everything that you need to run games, you already have. So before I get into some very specific uh, scenario writing advice, I wanted to really hammer this po point home with what I call the golden rule for running a tabletop game of any kind. It's important to know your place in the game. You're there to facilitate a story, adjudicate the rules of the game, drive home the themes of the setting, and allow players to experience the world of darkness through the lens you present them. As a more talented person than me once pointed out, the storyteller isn't always as important as we think, especially in a game like Vampire. If the storyteller was absent, four players could still roleplay a scene. They could still tell a story. They could still play Vampire, albeit a somewhat stripped down version. But if the players are absent, the storyteller is just one person. You really can't play Vampire solo. It's important to remember this, it's humbling and it helps you ground yourself in your role. So be sure to keep that in mind, especially if you're starting to feel like the most important person at the table, because I assure you, you're not. Okay, is your stress level somewhat compressed now? Good, we can get on with it. Unlike a lot of other role-playing games, Vampire, as well as other World of Darkness games, are a bit different when it comes to scenario writing. You don't need to worry about balancing encounters, or rolling on tables, or drawing maps, or spending treasure points, or anything like that, and, and while those things can be nice, it's not really the reason we play our World of Darkness games. What you do need to do is craft a story. Notice I didn't use the word write. You're a storyteller. You have a story you want to tell, but to write it would mean to assume the actions of your players, or worse, force them down a particular avenue to reach a conclusion you've arranged for them. So what's the best way to go about this? Create a script of sorts for yourself. Something more akin to a mind map of the story you want to tell. You can do this in a notebook or a scrap piece of paper, whatever works for you because you'll be the only one using it. To begin, hone in on one or two core themes you'd like for your chronicle to focus on. I usually have one of these themes for drama and another for mood. For example, my theme might be familial obligation and my mood might be gothic romance. Once you have your theme and mood, you want to establish some plot hooks. Now, don't put too much pressure on yourself at this stage, or ever for that matter. You want to keep these kind of loose, just to help get your like mind going when it comes to leading up to your session zero. So keep these plot hooks simple for now, just one line each. Things like, the sheriff is corrupt but the players don't know, or one of the players' touchstones is actually a second inquisition agent are great. They're nice and simple, and they're going to develop when you get to meet your characters for the first time during your session zero. Full details about how to approach a session zero can be found in the V5 core book, so we won't get into it here. During the session, it will be your job to pay attention to each of the characters as they come to life on the sheet, on your relationship map, and in your collective imaginations. Pay close but silent attention to potential plot threads and how they enhance the theme, mood, and plot hooks you've already written down. Where can connections be made between characters and backstories? Where does the drama lie in the relationships that are being crafted? If one character has a clear longing for love and romance, it would be excellent to gear them towards a touchstone of one of the other players. This can make for tension, drama, and plot. Your player's characters are going to be the main characters of your story. They're going to form the foundation of the plot that you're going to tell, so it's important that your plot hooks enhance that and not the other way around. After your session zero is complete, you're better equipped to go back to your script and really start fleshing out those plot hooks you wrote down by weaving them into the stories of the characters your players have created. When it comes time to prepare a scenario, give it a name, outline, and how you're going to begin the story. And from there, dot point down a few scenes that you'd like to play out. These are all the very basic things you need to do to get started, and they're super simple. Anyone can do them. You've been telling stories since you were a kid. So keep it simple. Get an outline, a few dot points of some scenes you'd like to play out, use your session zero and your players 
and their characters to inform the story that you're going to tell. Take those initial plot hooks that you wrote down and flesh them out, weave them into your characters' backstories, and these are just the first steps you need to take in order to tell a great story. In future installments in the series, I'm going to go into more detail in how to handle the exact content in your stories, how to direct your stories without railroading your players, how to handle the mechanics of monsters, and how to keep the game feeling vampire. I've been Brian Holland from the World of Darkness community team at Paradox. If you like this video, please uh, feel free to subscribe, drop some comments down below if you have any questions, and you can feel free to hit me up on Twitter or on at BWHolland. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and I hope you come back soon.